guys, it's Link Plays Games. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to our life. So we are on the last moment of this chapter. Um, the road trip one. So let's see. Even though you were awake and the sun had barely peaked its head above the horizon. Um, usually you wouldn't be up so early. But today was different. Um. Instead of the lazy days you were used to, everything around you was a flurry of activity. Did we ever actually spend the night, night with Cove? Or did he continue to sneak into my bedroom? <laughs> I need that answered. <laughs> Anyways. Both your family and Cove's prepared for what lay light ahead. Massive RV camper, so big that you couldn't even see Cove's house behind it. His parents rented the RV for a few days to take him on a short road trip to see the Redwood National Park. The road trip had been a mixed bag for him, could only was only three days. Um, especially now that you and your family were joining them. You weren't sure how that happened. You knew your parents and Cove spoke to each other often. Somewhere along the way, plans were made after Cliff offered to share the space. Alrighty. You had already gotten a good look inside while helping load everything. You gotta admit, it was a really big car. Fitting that many people inside was gonna be snug. Move it or lose it, kiddo. <laughs> Love that. I also love the fact that my hair matches hers. Like, and I just- I love her, she's so precious. Like, both the mom characters for the main character of this game, just so precious. Alright, she was upbeat for this early in the morning. <laughs> that- that's a mood. I'm gonna need a whole jug of coffee once we hit the road. Also mood. Or you could just go back to sleep. As long as you're not driving, I think that's fine. <laughs> um, middle ground between the two. That's typically how I was for road trips. Like, I was ready for it. I would stay up all night with my mom. Like, okay. Rewind. <laughs> Hold on. So, back when I was younger and we would take, like, trips up to New York during the summer... My stepdad would work until like really late at night, like he'd get home at 12 o'clock in the morning. And he would sleep for like maybe three or four hours. And during that time frame, me and my mom would be getting everything together and packing everything into the truck and making sure everything was set and ready to go. Meanwhile, my sister was, like, sleeping her heart out, and I'm just like, Insomnia! <laughs> Let's go! And my mom's just like, I just drank a whole pot of coffee! <laughs> Let's go! And I'm like, I am my mother's daughter. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so yeah. I definitely, I was ready for it when the road trip came, but as soon as I got in the car, we'd be like, not even out of Georgia, and I'd be <laughs> out cold. That I'd be listening to music, and then I'd doze off somewhere near the top of Tennessee. Maybe Kentucky? I don't know. Um, anyways. You tried to keep up and took in some deep breaths. Okay. At the end of the chain came your sister. She had a bone to pick before the trip officially started. Um, I don't get why I can't sleep in the bed tonight. Link is the youngest and I'll never fall asleep in that loft. Um, we're trying to make things fair on everyone. If you want to play the older card, you should be offering to take the loft both nights. It's important for big siblings to make sacrifices for their younger ones. I mean, that's a, that's a good point. As an older sibling, I would know. <laughs> because most of the time I had to sacrifice for the younger sibling. 
That could be my sister's problem. I sacrificed so much. Especially when we took a road trip and she kicked her shoes off. Oh, the sacrifice. It took so much for me and my parents not to duct tape her feet. <laughs> Alrighty. Trip plans have been nailed down prior, the sleeping arrangements included. Um, there was a main area, the RV with a couch, loft, and some floor space. At the end of the car was a room with a large bed. Her moms were sharing the bed. Kira was on the couch. Um, father and son intended to sleep on the floor. The adults determined you and Elizabeth could switch between the small loft above the driver's seat and share in the bed with moms. Um, I would be fine sleeping in the loft. I thought it was unfair to have had to sleep on the floor. Um, it'd be a new experience for you. It sounded kind of cool. Honestly, I probably would offer for her to sleep in the bed and me to sleep in the loft. Only because, you know. Anyways. Alrighty. How about you? Do you have your clothes all packed? Toiletries, deodorant, floss, anything else you can think of? Um. I had it all. Okay, that's great. We'll have to wait for the ones who weren't as organized, but we'll be heading off shortly. With a few minutes left to spare before leaving, you mentally went over what you had packed for the trip. Clothes, a pillow, blanket, usual day-to-day -day gear for most people. You also had more personal things such as portable gaming console, bag of makeup, mp3 player with headphones. That's just facts. That's... Really, you need the gaming console and the m headphones and music for the road trip. Especially when your stepdad only listens to channels talking about the news. <laughs> um, couple of things to read too. Uh, I used to have Wattpad on my phone. <laughs> uh, favorite stuffed animal, let's see, we'll go with portable gaming console. Wanna make sure you had a way to entertain yourself while traveling there and back. Um, MP3 player with headphones. Let's see. Bag of makeup. I was actually really good at putting on makeup in a vehicle as a teenager. And to this day, I could still do a full face of makeup driving down the road. Not me driving, but somebody else driving and going down the road. Um, kind of hard in Georgia with all the potholes, but not undoable. Unless you have liquid liner. I don't re recommend liquid liner. <laughs> um, I also had my camera. Um. And a couple things to read. Alright, and that was everything. Alright, so nothing left to do. You watch the others getting ready for the trip. Kira and Cliff seem to have the most energy of anyone. Kira is a Sagittarius, without doubt. <laughs> you can't tell me she's not. <laughs> Cliff, mm, he's not a Sagittarius. I could see him being a Taurus. I don't know why. Or Leo. That could explain why they bumped heads so bad. But I, I see him so much as an Earth sign instead of fire. But I mean, also. Couldn't see him as a water sign. Even though he's got an obsession with water. Cliff, it does not have his birthday. I'm gonna say he's a Taurus. 
It also doesn't have Kira's birthday either, but she is a Sagittarius. You cannot tell me I'm wrong. Can the devs please confirm? Please. It doesn't have any other person's birthday other than, um, Cove's. Oh, it also has Derek's birthday. Derek is September 29th. Um, so he's Libra, I think. I don't know. Anyways, besides the point. Alright, they high fived when one another got crammed into the storage compartment. Okay. Anyways. Okay, so. She wasn't usually the one to exit the confines of her room unless it was for TV or food or to leave her family behind to be with friends. Ouch. Excited for the trip too. All right, everyone piled into the RV. It was officially time to start the trip. Oh, that's a tight space. All right. All right. Sense of relief. When the first long leg of the trip was hit. Um. The mom group cleared out of the driver's area, leaving Cove's dad to it. You felt like you could finally relax now, too. Before you realized it, the engine of the RV came to a stop, but only halted for a few moments as Cliff climbed out of the driver's seat and Mom took over. Oh god. Cliff groaned as he headed towards the rest of you, stretching his arms above his head, loosening up his muscles. We're making good progress. Maybe you should take a nap in the back for a while. That was a long haul you just did. And I know you're on less sleep than usual. I don't need sleep. I still got a few miles in the old tank. Oh my god. Everybody has to sleep. Oh, I'm in the middle of this, sorry. Are you gonna be driving again anytime soon? I want to know so I can prepare. What does that mean? Did anyone pack some rope? I might need it, there's no seatbelts up here. Oh, so she was in the lounge, or lounging above the loft. She's laying on her back, her hair falling, falling over the side, swinging around as the RV started up again and took off down the road. <laughs> Lucky for all of us, we have enough adults to cover the shifts today. He won't be driving again until tomorrow. That was a relief. Just enough time to write up my last will and testament. <laughs> it's not his driving I'm worried about. Let's not forget how many times mom put a dent in our car. <laughs> it was only twice. <laughs> that would be some jokes I would make with my mom. I love that. What I'm more worried about is this old monster getting us there and back before falling apart. <laughs> Looks like it was built in the early 90s. Is that how 90s is spelled? I guess I've never actually thought about it. Okay, anyways. Must be older than some of the occupants. It's just the aesthetic of the decor. It's not that old, I think. Did you ask what year the model was before you rented it? Hey. Yes, I did. I just can't remember what the answer was. The RV lurched a little as it picked up speed. 
You held on to the ladder to the loft to keep your balance. You felt something graze the top of your head before a weight settled on your red hair. When you tilted your chin up carefully to look, you heard the rustling of bags of chips and realized Elizabeth had rested the end of it on your head. Uh, took a handful. He happily munched away on the, as the conversation continued. Wait, where's the ladder? Maybe the ladder slides out and we just don't see it. Um, anyways. The day flew by with a group of you chatting, playing games, and passing the time together before arriving at the park and setting up for the night. Alright. You all had dinner together while still driving, and some hours after you arrived at your destination, I found a spot to park in for the rest of your stay. Um, Cove having completely, completely fallen asleep, curled up in the passenger seat. You must have done so while Kira was driving the last leg. They had decided not to disturb him. You followed your moms to the back and closed the door behind you before crawling into bed between them. Alright. How's it going, Alistair? I'm looking forward to the bush walk in the morning. It's been a long time since I was out in nature like this. I love camping. Hold on, let me move myself back. And I'm gonna have to run back down to this corner of the screen anyway. This corner. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, but anyways. Hey guys, so this video has been sponsored by Dubby. So please go check them out. Use my code LINKPLAYSGAMES for 10% off. And I highly recommend if you like blue flavored things, Big Energy Tears is the one to go to. So pretty. The next morning you were up bright and early preparing for the day ahead. Um, you slept well. While looking for a spot to get ready, you had some trouble finding space of your own as others were doing the same. Um, your parents were checking, double checking, and triple checking that you had everything to the point where you had stopped listening to them altogether. Alright. Till you all exited the RV in a bustle headed into the Redwood National Forest. Alright. You knew that the redwood trees were considered the tallest trees on earth, but you weren't prepared for exactly how huge they would be in person. Gotta run to the bottom of the screen. Smile, you two. You Fun just in time for Kira to snap a picture of you and Cove together. Your parents were walking behind the group a little. Um, Alright. You smiled at them thinking your mom's your mom must have read a lot of pamphlets. Maybe you should come here come and work here as a tour guide if you know so much about the place. Not a bad idea. Um, I'd be way off. Okay. Elizabeth sped up a little, smirking at Cove as she fell into place between the two of you. Immediately, you could tell by her expression she was going to say something taunting. Can't believe our families are actually on vacation together. I would have joked about something like this happening, but now I'm not sure I want to give them any more ideas. Just watch next year, they'll be talking about their new amazing idea. 
<laughs> we should just both sell our houses and move in together. Think about how much we'd save on the mortgage. <laughs> but seriously, they really do act like we're a single family just because we live across the street from each other. Maybe one day we'll, we will be related legally anyway. <laughs> At least that's what Ma thinks. Now she finally- she- she worked so hard for that. I don't know why you think you're so funny when no one else does. Oh, <laughs> uh, you told her to cut it out already. Cove has a point. It wasn't a great comment. I'll marry you, Cove. Ignored Elizabeth, you were embarrassed. I'm gonna mess with Co further. <laughs> Don't worry over it. You can take as long as you need to think on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to engage on this topic. Or with this topic. I love that. That that would be my, me and my sister. <laughs> All right. There was little a little stream during the walk that you sat beside to let up. I set out a picnic for lunch. All right. You managed to get a couple of them right, including the kingfisher that grabbed half of Cliff's sandwich. <laughs> If you're glad you got to do this in the end, you were disappointed to only have one day in the park. You thought the trip was worth only one day here. You had more fun hanging out in the RV. I'm glad we got to do this. Alright, group made its way back. Alright. Hung out with Cove. You took a seat on the sofa while Cove sat down on the other end, tapping his fingers against his knee. Okay. Couldn't help noticing the way he looked right now. It looked great on him. In fact, Cove always looked nice. Is everything okay? That looks nice on you. You know, I hardly ever see, see you wearing a jacket, especially in summer. Yeah, I like wearing as few layers as possible. It's easier that way. I'd rather be cold than extra hot. It's kind of a pain to carry around extra clothes. I love wearing layers. Something about a lot of layers that makes me feel all snug and comfortable. That, that's truly me. I've noticed. <laughs> you perked up hearing that he noticed you too? You asked him what he liked to see others wear. What other kind of things do you think are nice to see on other people? Mm. <gasps> you laugh out loud. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Answer with what you mean then. There isn't anything at all you think looks good when you see it on someone? the subject. Alright. You spent the evening chatting and playing a few games, enjoying the last evening of the road trip together. Um, Cliff would start driving early in the morning, like on the first day. Now is the time to 
to check you hadn't left anything outside. Alright. Because when his family got situated below in the previous arrangement, you tried to get comfortable as a million thoughts were running through your mind. It's hard to believe that the trip was practically over before you knew it. You'd be back at home, at home in your own bed. You um, enjoyed this mini adventure. All in all, it was a nice break away from home. Alright. You wondered if Cove was still awake. You decided to poke your head out from the loft to find out. Looking down the hall, you notice Cove laying on his back, his eyes staring straight up at the ce ceiling. He must have felt you watching him, because suddenly his eyes locked on yours. It was different. It was difficult to see much in the dim light. Cove rolled his eyes at you, or at least he, you thought he did. family vacation. <laughs> family vacation, guys. Family vacation. down next to each other on your sides face to face one of his arms were nestled under his head for comfort the other had nowhere to go it rested alongside his chest on on the floor of the loft so what am i doing here you could sleep here instead of the floor i don't know thought we could hang out was he yeah he is blinking i was like what the heck we could hang out. I'm not sure about this. Oh. I felt like this trip had definitely brought you t together even more. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I'm not dying or anything. There's almost no space left between he and you. Neither of you spoke a word, then your eyes locked again. The mouth opened to say something, but shut it tight before anything came out. Don't make him uncomfortable. Alright. You could peek up to see him smiling. The two of you fell asleep before long cuddled up next to each other. Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> we made the wrong choice! Cope was gone. Okay. Whew, that was close. That was close. Maybe it snuck back into a spot on the floor during the night. Busted. <laughs> His head hung in embarrassment. She simply sm smiled amused at you. It was obvious what had happened. Cove hadn't gotten away with it. They found him there in the loft, then you woke up while he tried to explain. He knew it was gonna be a long, long time before you lived this one down, if you ever did. Oh no, did your parents see? Or my parents? Um, 
Kira suggested a few different travel games. She used to play with Cove when he was younger. Um, a little later in the day, you tried to talk to Cove about what happened in the loft. He simply apologized and changed the subject. It's a bit too much for him to try to speak on, especially right now, you understood. Um, alright. We're going through the whole will they, won't they thing, aren't we? Once home again, you went straight up to your room, dropped onto your bed, shoes and all. Um, wished you were still on the trip. Alright. So, we go into the next chapter. I'm gonna actually end it here, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!